Hi guys, welcome back. Today, with our latest fixes, we are going to test cutting again on the Monport K40. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So I have got the Monport board plugged back in. All right, we're gonna use the light burn. We're gonna do a few test cuts. Um, so I've got four different shapes essentially, circle-esque squares. I've got the power and speed for each one. And I'm gonna watch the new milliamp meter to see what it's doing, how it's cutting power-wise, and see if it actually cuts anything out. So let's run that real quick and then uh, we'll see what it does. All right, so the first part it's gonna do is the cutting speed is 150 and 10% power. So that should do all of our letters. And then it's gonna go through the power and we're gonna watch what it does. It's gonna do 50, 20, 40, and 40 at different speeds. So we will watch it and I will be writing down what it does. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna send it and I will watch the amp meter. So here's one of the frustrations I have. I've changed this for the lettering. This is 70% at 100 millimeters a second and it's getting not even two to three four milliamps depending on if it has time to fire or not it's just very very slow reaction okay the first shape it is going way up we're getting about 17 second shape we're getting 12 third shape 13 13 to 14 about 13 and a half last shape same thing 13 and a half now let's see how it cut it here are the results now this is what we did last time so we know what power everything should be at and I did jump on Monport's site and looked at the manual and a bunch of these power readings check out with exactly what they say they should be so milliamp meter working these are good we like it so what I noticed in the letters and this is the problem that I thought we had because it's moving too fast for that board to keep up enough power so right I had to turn it up to 70% just to get it to burn it and it's only registering two to four uh, depending on how long it's able to actually turn on so essentially we're really only looking at four to eight percent ten percent you know somewhere in this realm when we're running it at seventy percent so major adjustments that you have to do if you're trying to remotely run this fast and engrave so you gotta, you gotta slow it down a whole lot or turn the power way way up but of course if it's going to be turned on for a long amount of time that power is going to ramp up to full power and you're going to burn what you're doing so now here are the results for the different shapes our first shape we ran at 20 speed and 50 power right so and it got a 17 now that's really close to our 50 down here that was at 18 milliamps so even at 20%, we're losing a bit because it's too fast for it to catch up. Now, the next one we ran at 10 and then at 20, and that was at 8.5. So it's actually, so it's running a little bit hot at 12, but not really way outside of the realm. I'm not sure why it jumped up like that. Uh, the third shape was 20 speed and 40% power and it ran 13.5 and actually the next one was also 40 percent and even at 10 millimeters a second faster it still ran at 13.5 which when we look at 40 percent it should have been 15 right so we're losing a bunch of power going from the regular built-in machine to the monport board it's just a little bit of milliamps lost but it's enough that I'm not even able to cut through at the settings that I used to be able to cut through. Now, I did a little bit more cutting just to actually get one to cut out. 
Now before we could easily do this at 10 millimeters a second and 50% power. In fact, 50% power was probably stronger than we ever needed. I had to take it up to 55 just to cut through this. So it's definitely not as much power with the Monport board as we were used to before uh, using K40 Whisperer and just the stock machine. Uh, so if you do want to switch over to light burn, you're going to have to adjust all of that. All right, we understand that our bed's not in the uh, perfect spot to get the right uh, focal length dialed in, but we will, you know, get that fixed at some point. Yeah, at some point. Um, also, we wanted to compare, uh, you know, other popular boards. Mm -hmm. um, the Monport one is a new one, uh, but the go-to one that we read is the Cohesion. A 3d board so uh, i think we're going to order that and see uh, how that responds uh, the cutting looks like it's fairly similar to before as far as milliamp power wise the engravings not even close um maybe that'll be a little bit different uh with the cohesion board maybe i don't know we'll yeah. see we'll see but definitely come back and check that one out and uh thanks for coming we'll see you next time